So at the beginning of the film, we are told the story of a haunted hospital like a TV show. It was a mental asylum where mad people were treated. But here mad people were not treated. In fact, Dr. Richard used to do his very dangerous experiments and end his patients here. That is, he used to murder them. Then one day, all the patients decided to run away from here. But because of Dr. Richard's mechanism, all the doors and windows of the hospital were closed before they could run away, and they were locked in this hospital. All the patients together set this hospital on fire. In the fire, along with Dr. Richard, all his patients were burned and ended there, but Dr. Richard's five staff members managed to escape from that fire. After that day, that hospital is still called the House of Haunt. That is, a haunted house where no one can live. No one can survive even for a day. A girl was watching this show. The girl who was watching this program in the bathtub called her husband immediately. And says that she has to arrange her birthday party in the House of Haunt. From their conversation, we learn that her husband Stephen is a very rich man. But their relationship is not good. In fact, Lauren tried to murder her husband Stephen once. So that he can't take all his money. Stephen doesn't pay much attention to Lauren's phone call at this time. And cuts of her phone. Because Stephen was giving an interview to a news channel. And he was interviewing his new open amusement park. This amusement park was very different from the rest of the parks. Because the theme here was horror. Now Stephen takes the anchors for his new ride test. First of all, this lift was running very well. But suddenly, the lift fell hard. And there was a sound of something breaking from below. This floor was see-through. From below, they could see everything. That the mechanism of the lift is breaking. Everyone panics. And the next minute, it turns out that they were being pranked. The mechanism of the lift below was a 3D animation. Which was installed on the floor. After that, they go to the roller coaster. While enjoying the ride of the roller coaster. Suddenly, its bridge broke. But this was also a prank like before. Because as we know that this amusement park was on a horror theme. So there were many things in it that people liked a lot. Now after the ride of the roller coaster. Lauren calls Stephen again. And says, I want to do my party at Haunted House on Hill. For which Stephen agrees and makes his guest list. And then later we see. That an unseen power has changed that guest list. Now the next day we see that four guests have reached Haunted House on Hill for Lauren's party. But these were not the guests which Lauren or her husband had called. They also got a message that whoever survives here until the next morning, he will also get a check of one million from Stephen. They all come here and meet a man named Watson, who is the owner of this place. They all asked him the same question. Why did Stephen call them here? Although he doesn't know anything about Stephen for this. Watson was also surprised. Anyway, he takes them all inside the house. As soon as they go inside, the first thing they notice is the glass window inside which there were strange scary faces. Now Lauren and Stephen also come here. And as soon as Lauren comes, she asks them, who are you? And where are our guests? As soon as he asks, the glass door breaks. And before he falls on Lauren, and he jumps here and saves her. After this incident, Watson also tells the owner of this house that while renovating this house, both her father and grandfather were ended. Hearing this, Stephen says with a smile, then it is certain that Lauren is next. After Lauren's argument, Watson tells the owner of this house, give me the ring. And I have to go from here. I am not going to stay here. It is seen that Stephen had already written a lot of checks for one million. Whoever wants to survive from here, he gets these checks. He also tells Watson, If you stay here all night, then you will also get this check. Also, Stephen also tells, If anyone dies in this game, then the owner of this house will be given. Stephen also says, I don't know any of you. And I also think, I have not changed this guest list, but my wife has changed it. Watson says, Look, Stephen, you play this game. I am not going to stay here. I love my life very much. Are you paying me or not? When Stephen refuses to pay, he was going to leave without paying. This house was made for his patients. Watson was shocked to see this. 
and he started breaking the windows so that he can get out of here. But nothing happened. Because on the other side of the window, there were iron bars, which was stopping him from going out. Now Watson tells everyone, this mechanism was made by Dr. Richard so that his patients don't run away from here. And it is heard that because of this mechanism, when all the patients were stuck here, then he set this place on fire and everyone died. Only five staff members were able to escape from here. Everyone was scared to hear this. Watson says, this house is still alive. Eddie asks, what does this mean? Watson says, it means that the souls of those patients and Dr. Richard are still in this house. That's why it is called a haunted house. All the people who have come here are always ended and I don't want us to die here. That's why we have to find that mechanism with which we can open this door so that we can get out of here. During these conversations, Lauren comes here and tells everyone, I think this is all Stephen's game. He has done this lockdown. Hearing this, Another person comes to him and says, Open it with decency. Otherwise, you will be responsible for what will happen to you. Stephen makes everyone believe. I didn't do this. But I know that the mechanism of this lockdown is in the basement. He can go to the basement and open it. Hearing this, Lauren says, Keep these guns with you. He has also kept some surprises below. Like his amusement park. Now, the three members of the group go to the basement. With a torch. To find that mechanism. And as soon as they go down. From a strange place. They were scared. In the glass cages, very strange statues were kept. It is believed that by scaring them, mad people are treated. They go ahead. Suddenly, the ceiling breaks from above. There were some surprising things here. For this, there was an operator here. And he was laughing at the situation. Stephen comes here and scolds him. Why did you close the door without my permission? But the operator says, no, I didn't lock the door here. Stephen thought that his wife would be behind this. Now, the scene is cut. We are shown the same group again. Who were in the basement? Here, they felt that the basement has not been renovated since January. Now, suddenly, Stephen comes here. He was looking for the mechanism with them. Because he knew that it was not under his control. And now, he also felt that he would be stuck here. He is shown a metal door here. About which Watson says that this mechanism cannot be. They leave that door and go ahead. And we are shown a strange black shadow on that door. They now reach a room where the patients were treated by electric shock. Now, after reaching here, this group is divided among themselves. Jennifer turns on some lights, and Eddie is surprised to see this. How does he know about this place? He asked her. Who are you? Tell me the truth. Then she tells him that my name is Jennifer, and I was not invited here. In fact, I am just pretending to be invited here. And Stephen has given me money to do this. While telling this, as soon as she turned around, she was surprised to see that Eddie had disappeared from behind. She turned around and saw. Suddenly, she saw someone running from the attic behind her. There was no one there. Then she saw Eddie jumping into a tub full of blood. She got scared. And tried to get Eddie out of the tub. But then, surprisingly, Eddie was standing in front of her. As if nothing had happened to him. In fact, he was surprised to see Jennifer. What is happening to her? What is she doing? Now, Jennifer was very scared. She comes up with Eddie and asks Stephen, What have you done? Do you want to end us? Hearing this, Stephen tells her, No, I did not do anything. I was in the control room upstairs, and after a shock, Stephen found out that the mechanism room is not here. Hearing this, all of them are very surprised. Now you can see, the two people who had gone down and separated, one of them was making a video of the basement, and while making this, she went to the operation room, and found out that Dr. Richard was operating with a patient staff member. She was surprised to see this. She put the camera down. There was nothing there. When she turned around, there was a ghost. A strange looking ghost. He came up to her, and screamed so loudly that her skin started to peel off. She also screams loudly. And everyone gets scared. She knew something strange must have happened downstairs, where she found nothing, except for a blood stain. Now, there was only that girl's camera there. They came up with it. And in the last footage of the camera, we only saw that girl's hand, and something invisible pulled her from there, and took her somewhere else. It clearly meant that she was dead. And whatever happened to her, was done by the ghosts here. After watching this video,
Lauren comes clapping and asks Stephen, How did you end her? What has happened? Lauren points a gun at him. Stephen doesn't pay much attention to it, because he thought it wasn't loaded, but when Lauren shoots the glass, he believes that Lauren can end him and go to any extent. Now, he was really scared, so he goes to his operator. He wanted to give him some commands, but when he went there, he saw that the operator's face was badly eaten, and someone had ended him. This thing scares him. And now, when he himself watches the CCTV footage, he sees a very scary thing, that Dr. Richard's ghost is coming towards Lauren's room with a knife. Now Stephen runs away to save Lauren. And on the other side, it is shown that the whole group was looking for Lauren, and when they were doing their work, suddenly, the lights of this place started flickering, and then they started hearing strange sounds from the Operation Theater, and when they saw this, Lauren and Ben were shaking badly. It felt like someone had started an electric shock therapy on him. To turn it off, all of them start looking for the switch, and finally a girl succeeds in turning it off. As long as they had this switch, Lauren had gone out. When Stephen reached here, he was very sad, and he pointed a gun at all the guests, because he felt that all this work was done by a guest, but here Jennifer points a gun at Stephen, because she felt that Stephen is behind all this, who came here to end his wife. Now to punish this, all of them put Stephen in the saturation chamber and turn on the machine. The machine was rotating continuously, and inside it, Stephen started seeing a lot of pictures. Because of this machine, Stephen starts hallucinating. He feels like he is drowning in water, and suddenly, he sees a scary face coming out of the water. He gets so scared that he becomes unconscious. After doing this, they search this area and reach Dr. Richard's office, where they see that all the people who came here were his relatives who ran away from here. And this was shocking for them. After knowing this, Watson tells them that the guest list was not changed by Lauren or Stephen. They are telling the truth. The guest list was changed by a power here. There were five people in the staff, but there were six people here. And they get to know that Donald is one of them who has no connection with anyone. Someone called Donald here. The scene cuts. And we see Donald near Lauren. And suddenly, Lauren's dead body wakes up. And she kisses Donald again. And here, the biggest twist is whatever was happening here was done by Lauren and her boyfriend Donald. She was scaring everyone so that everyone gets scared, blames Stephen, and punishes Stephen. And after Stephen's death, all the property belongs to him. But here, they were confused that everything happened according to their plan. But that girl's death was not in their plan. Nor was it their responsibility. Lauren doesn't pay much attention to this, she says to Donald. I am worried about this. That the rest of the people are not scared. That they go and punish Stephen. Or end him. She suddenly attacks Donald. And ends him. And then. All the guests. End Stephen. She ended her own partner, Donald, which means she had Donald with her. Here we see everyone was waiting for Donald. When Donald was not in his room, Watson goes to the basement to find Donald, where he sees fresh blood, and they know that Donald is dead here. And according to Lauren's plan, she gives the blood to Stephen. And then they open the saturation chamber. And check if Stephen is alive or dead. As soon as they open the chamber, instead of Stephen, they see Donald's dead body. And then they confirm that Stephen did the murder. Although, we are shown in the flashback that Lauren took out Stephen's body and put Donald's body in the chamber. Here we go. With a gun. As soon as she went to check, Stephen came in front of her. Her hands were full of blood. The girl got scared, and Stephen tried to tell her, I did not end Donald. When I came to my senses, I was lying on the floor, 
The girl was so scared of Stephen that she did not believe Stephen. She thought Stephen would end her. So before anything happens, she shoots Stephen. And they go back upstairs. And then we see that Lauren came to Stephen's dead body and started saying weird things. Like she told Stephen's dead body that I married you only for your money and for how many years of my life I had to ruin with you. After hearing all this, suddenly Stephen gets up and grabs her neck. He was so angry that he picked up Lauren's head and started beating her. He beats her a lot. And then he shows her that she was wearing a bulletproof jacket because of which she did not die because of all this. She got to know the truth about Lauren. Stephen picks her up and beats her on the metal door. There was no opening on the other side. Surprisingly, we saw that the metal door broke and Lauren went inside. It was a scary room. And as soon as Lauren stands up, something pulls her towards the wall. And Stephen is shocked because all this was not part of his plan. Scared. Stephen opens another door to escape. And he sees the body parts of the dead girl. He got scared. He wanted to escape. But then, Lauren's body's shadow came in front of which him. Which scared him. When he tries to go out of the lobby, he fails. Because the door was locked. Stephen knocks on the door. So that someone hears his voice and helps These him. These three were trying to break a window. And try to get out of here. When they heard Stephen's voice. They were shocked. Because they thought Sarah ended him. Scared. Watson goes ahead and opens the door. Stephen pushes him into the lobby. And he comes to the side. And that black shadow takes Watson inside. Stephen was very scared. So he tells Eddie and Sarah to run away. Because this place is not safe. This place is a horror. There are some powers here. Which won't let you stay here. Both of them couldn't agree on Steve's words. But then. That black shadow came in front of them. Which ended as soon as it came. And the shadow started exploding again. To escape from all this. They start running away. Steve runs to the attic. And presses a lever there. Which opened the door here. When he saw this opening. He screamed. And told Sarah and Eddie to run away. But then. They started seeing shadows from behind. Which were trying to stop them here. Before this shadow could stop Sarah. At the right time. Steve comes here and saves her life. And pushes her out of this building. And these shadows. Take Steve inside. As soon as the shadows left Steve. He was a mummified body. Which was a mud body. Which flew away. Like dust. Here we see. After Sarah left. Eddie was still trapped here. He tries to open the window. But the window was closed. Now he could see the shadows behind him. And there were a lot of faces. Of all the people who died here. All these shadows tell him. That your dad was responsible for all this. He told Dr. Richard. To do weird experiments. After hearing this. Eddie tells him the truth. That I was adopted. I don't know anything about these things. Even after hearing this. Nothing happened to the shadow. They were going to end Eddie. But at the right time. Watson's soul came here. And opened the door of this place. And Eddie finally got out of here. The sunlight from outside. You can see. He had an envelope. Which Watson threw at him. And there were a lot of million dollar checks. Which Stephen had signed as prize money. Because of this. These people were happy. They were saved. And their life was saved. And just by showing them. This story ends here.